Hey everybody, I know this has been a while since I've made a YouTube video, but you know, hey, guys been busy, you know, um, especially with a lot of stuff that I have going on in terms of my art. But hey, you know, I'm back and I'm happy to be back in the game. So um, today, I think in this video, I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm starting to get a lot back into more traditional artwork. And I think it's time I pin on a canvas. <sighs> This canvas, it is a 30 by 40 from Michaels, and dude, when I tell you I got this for such a great deal, I'm not gonna lie, Packetans used to be having a deal before Michaels bought them, but hey, Michaels is starting to come through a little bit. So, you guys might be wondering, hey, what, am, what is he painting? Well, uh, as you can see behind me, uh, I, you know, just kind of been exploring my art style, and I found that, you know, like painting stuff like this, is, is really fun. So I think for today, I'm going to paint Miss Chloe Baby. Now you might be wondering why he's gonna do it on such a big canvas if he has these square canvases. Well, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Plus I plan on painting her again on like a smaller canvas, but hey, I'm, I guess I'll just walk you guys through the process and let's get started. set up since I'm only painting the background and some of the skin I really don't really need a whole bunch of paint out right now you know I like to keep my space minimalist and uh orderly because yeah yeah let's get started yep the shadows bad news is I ran out of red paint so yeah that kind of cancels this day in terms of the background I think I might as well just like start on the skin or something like that so yeah okay I kind of changed my mind a little bit um I might not do the skin today because uh, I like to you know take my time on it and it's not a lot of daylight outside left and you gotta go home at some point so I think what I want to do is um probably the pants i like i like me i like doing wrinkles so that that should be interesting it should be fun so i'll get back into painting um of course i'm going to finish the background because uh yeah i just got to get more paint so we're going to get there but stay tuned and let's get back to work
so this is how far I got. Um, yeah, it looks real nice. I like how it's coming along. Uh, probably gonna end up finishing this piece or getting back to it actually on Thursday because I have a small little mural project um, that I'm doing on Wednesday after work. So I like how this is turning out and yeah. So uh, done with the skin. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday. I was able to reschedule the little mural thing a thing. So yeah, I'm just finished the skin so far. Got a little glare. I wonder if I can block that out. Oh yeah, you see it. Yeah, you see it. Quit playing. Yeah. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna do, I think is we're gonna work on the Close. So boom, I'm up on the top. Um, probably do the fingernails or something like that. Um, I can't really do the shoes yet because I still gotta get extra red paint. And uh, yeah, this thing's coming together. I like how it's turning out and let's keep it going. Yo, I just thought of like a real, damn, bro. Hold on, y'all see the brown? Uh, hold on, hey, what the fuck? All right, but uh, anyways, bro, I just thought of a great idea, dude. So instead of painting the background, I think what I'm gonna do is get like a whole bunch of masking tape and mask her off and just spray paint it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how quick that'll be? Like, plus it'll be a nice solid color and when it dries, it shouldn't even be that bad. And then I could just put some like matte fixative on it or something like that, just so it won't be as sticky. Like. I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna go with that. Uh, but hey, um, probably gonna get back started a little later. It's kind of a work day, and uh, today is Thursday, so you already know. Like I said, I rescheduled the mural for today. So yeah, um, we're just gonna get that done. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's turning out, as you can see, it's turning out amazing, and I'm really liking how it's looking. So. We're just gonna get the ball rolling. All right, what's good, y'all? So today, I'm really gonna try to make this the last day that I'm actually painting this. Um, my goal for today is to, um, let's, let's see if I can point this out. Finish the little bicycle she's on. Like all the black, like it's gonna be like a blacktastic day today because I'm gonna be painting all this black. Trying to go to try to get her shoes done. I think I might do a close up on that because I, I love shoes. And then, dude, so like I said last time, I finally decided to um, go grab some spray paint instead of actually matching paint to go paint it because I feel like that would take too long. So once I'm done with the black and the black dries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask everything off to the best of my ability and then I'm going to spray paint it. So I can't wait to show that part. And yeah. Let's get started. Oh, first, let me show you what I got though from the art store. Shoot, hey, let's call this a, uh, a, um, a unboxing. <laughs> okay, so let me just dump that out. So I got masking tape and the exacto knife because you know we're gonna be cutting a lot. Hopefully I don't cut through a canvas, fingers crossed. Um, then I got, oh, y'all heard, heard a rattle? Yeah. So I got some acrylic varnish. And that's gonna be dope once I finish painting. I'm gonna spray that on there just to, it's matte, I think. Uh, non yellowing fast, orange, transparent, da da da. Acrylic varnish. Wood, metal, plastic, etc. 
Let's hope we don't fuck up the painting, you know am I right? <laughs> no, I'm just messing, but um, then I got spray paint, I had matched the color. You might be wondering, how do you, how do you match colors, Aja? Well, I used to work for a painting company that worked heavily with Sherwin Williams and they gave me, they gave me um, a color matcher. So this color that I matched to best to the best of my ability is uh, dragon fruit. I had liked that one a lot, like dragon. Like it's a nice color, it's a nice pink. It's like not too red, not too pink, but like, you know, right in the middle. It looks really good. Like if I put it up to the, I did, I did my best, but hey, shit, that one matches more. But hey, you get it. Once you put it up there, you see, like, yeah. See, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Hey, I've been, yeah. I worked for that painting company for about three years. You know? I think I mastered it. Then uh, I got some more golden. That the reds are for the shoes. Put that right here. Yeah. So the red is for the shoes. I don't know whether or not to use cadmium red or uh, pyro red. Um, we gonna see what happened when I paint it. If I don't like it, I just paint over it. And then finally, I got some plastic uh, drop cloth for when I start spray painting. Um, make sure you protect your area. I'm gonna actually go outside and spray paint this. And since I don't own the building, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure to keep it as clean as possible. So let's get back into it and I'm gonna set up everything. And yeah, let's get this process going. So I finished the bike. Um, I think I'm gonna like stop right here, do the background real quick before it gets dark outside and then continue on everything. As you can see, still have to do a lot, but I feel like it might be a better idea. So I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, take a quick break, um, tape that, tape the zone up. I don't think I'm gonna record that because that's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna just, all right, so now this is covered up. Um, what I'm gonna do, and I've already started, I don't know if you can see, is I'm just gonna like really like kind of sketch out everything real fast and then cut out everything real fast, so yeah. All right, now that I got everything taped up, I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and kind of score around the edges as lightly as possible. I'm gonna take my time right here because if I don't, <laughs> yeah, I could ruin the whole painting. So yep, uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna do the little snappy snappy thing again and it should be done. Let's <laughs> see. Yo man, this stuff took me almost like two, two and a half hours just to cut all this out. Cause I wasn't trying to cut through the canvas so I was really taking my time but Hey, it's time to take this out and finally spray paint the background so we can get back into the nitty gritty. start taking the paint off so that it won't peel anything off. It's gonna be one of those uh, nerve-wracking parts because you can, 
I don't know if the tape is gonna stick to the acrylic or you know what I'm saying, stuff is gonna start peeling off. So I'm gonna take it slow and steady. So I'm just gonna have to speed it up. It's not even finished yet. There's some white spots, but some of these spots are really forgiving. But yo, when I tell you this looks, I feel like I can stop right here, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I still got the shoes and some touch-ups. As you can see, there's like some white areas, but it's not a lot. It's in the areas that's, a, that's real detailed, but, but for the most part, everything else just flows together and I'm getting real, real excited about this. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, Start on the shoes, then I'm going to um, kind of play with the shadows just a little bit, kind of rework them, uh, paint over some areas that need to be paint over. But yeah, super excited. Hey, oh snap. Yeah, last time I did that, I looked like Wizard Kelly. All right, but yeah, you get the point. Let's get back to it. So it's been six days. It's been a kind of a painstaking, you know, uh, <laughs> a journey. Um, I learned a lot from it. And I really like how this one turned out. You know what I'm saying? You can tell I put a lot of effort into it, a lot of detail into this piece. Um, but <laughs> without further ado, which you guys all been waiting for, I would like to introduce Miss Chloe Baby. <laughs> 